yes the following ecg was recorded from a male patient with chest pain look at the ecg it's a manifested right bundle branch block and anterior septal myocardial infarction or extensive anterior here the presence of myocardial infarction myocardial infarction and right bundle branch block whether the right bundle branch block is an association with myocardial infarction or preceding right bundle branch block there is no no problem in reading of a manifestation of uh, myocardial infarction here the q wave and st segment elevation are a manifestation of infarction and this q wave and st segment elevation which extended up to v6 it's called this extensive anterior, anterior myocardial infarction yes here the because the right bundle branch block is only chain the terminal activation of the ventricle but in myocardial infarction the changeable are air initial part and the terminal parts of the QRS complex so that the it is easy to read a myocardial infarction in the presence of right bundle branch block this anterior septal or extensive anterior in the presence of in the if the inferior myocardial infarction occur it's occur similar with the Q wave and ST segment elevation this steamy regarding of the steamy and also the posterior myocardial infarction can be differentiated easily this is the left bundle this is the right bundle branch block st segment depression and t wave inversion but in case of posterior wall myocardial infarction in v1 and v2 it is manifested like this r wave and st segment depression and elevated T wave in V1 and V2 and V3 so that the T wave elevation it is discriminable between the original right bundle branch block and associated posterior myocardial infarction here from the ECG we can we able to make a diagnosis of the problem and the etiology. The etiology here, it, it's the occlusion of septal branch of left anterior descending artery. That's why the right bundle branch block, myocardial infarction of the right bundle branch block, it's commonly associated with the left anterior fascicular block. This is the right bundle branch block and this left and the anterior fascicle, this posterior. Because the association of both anterior fascicular and the right bundle branch block that supplied by septal branch of left anterior descending artery. Yes, and a hint to locate where is the lesion of left anterior descending artery. It is from the proximal part. Thank you for your kind watching.